Matters only get worse when Raymond loses his office to new dia Nico della Guardia and Rusty is replaced by rival Tommy Molto, and, what's more, becomes the prime suspect in Carolyn's murder, a reasonable supposition, given everything we've been shown. But Rusty will keep investigating on his own, with the help of Detective Alana Rodriguez. In order to keep things interesting while filling eight episodes with newly conceived twists and turns, the 20th century story has been expanded with added characters, possible suspects and lines of inquiry, and updated with smartphones and digital bric-a-brac, which, along with the 6 to 10 episode streaming serial series order, have perhaps more than anything changed the way screenwriters tell their tales. Tommy reveals that Carolyn was pregnant at the time of her death, so he asked Rusty to take a paternity test, considering Rusty's affair with her. Only then Raymond learns about Rusty and Carolyn's affair, so he blames Rusty for his loss in the election against Nico. Meanwhile, Rusty gets worried about another matter. By then, Barbara knew about Rusty's affair only until a year ago. She believes he ended it. However, he went back to Carolyn even later. Raymond's wife, Lorraine, questions Raymond about it and worries it will impact her relationship with Barbara. She thinks Barbara will assume she and Raymond knew about the affair. Rusty returns to the case documents about the Bunny Davis murder. He asks Herbert about another sample found on a day before Reynolds killed Bunny. Herbert notes that it was considered inconclusive, so Rusty takes out his anger on Herbert. Back home, he confesses the truth about his affair to his children before they learn it any other way. He tries to convince them that he made a mistake and still loves Barbara. Meanwhile, Nico advises Tommy to follow the evidence in Carolyn's case and not just act out of his anger toward Rusty. However, Tommy decides to take a rash step anyway. At dawn, the cops show up at Rusty's house with a search warrant. They go through Rusty's house and confiscate some of his personal belongings. Rusty realizes that they will find proof of his obsession with Carolyn, so he becomes certain that he will soon get arrested. Meanwhile, Nico sends him on administrative leave for misdirecting the case. Later, in a couple's session, Dyer Liz confronts Rusty for concealing the truth about his continued affair with Carolyn. Barbara wonders whether he still loves her. Rusty finds it hard to make a case for himself. Rusty asks Raymond to be his lawyer and fight for his innocence. Raymond can't trust Rusty anymore, but he doesn't accept or refuse Rusty's request. Lorraine thinks Raymond is indecisive because he sees hope for his own career revival in Rusty's proven innocence. Rusty asks Alana for help in getting another meeting with Reynolds. Eventually, he meets Reynolds in the prison to speak about another DNA sample in the Bunny Davis murder case. He offers help in reducing Reynolds' sentence if he helps with the other person's information. Reynolds realizes that Rusty is seeking help because he is in some sort of trouble and refuses to help. Soon after, the paternity test positively proves that Rusty is Carolyn's child's father. Right after Alana informs him about it, the cops show up at his doorstep to arrest him. Later on, during Rusty's initial trial, Raymond shows up in the courtroom to represent him. Raymond doesn't let Rusty get stuck in a pretrial conference. Instead, he requests the court to find an immediate trial date. The judge accepts the proposal, so Rusty gets remanded and returns home for a while. Back home, his family remains hopeful that he will be proven innocent. However, Rusty receives a text. It claims that this person saw Rusty at the scene of the crime. 